hello and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be working with asteria hair guys i'm going to be installing this unit um on a client so in the box just comes with like a satin bag some lashes and a satin wrap um the wig i'm going to be installing today is a 24 inch body wave unit well i would say this more straight to be fair um it is hd so the lace was amazing amazing um it came with three combs in the wig so you had like one comb at the side well two combs at the side one comb at the back and a full lace so it wasn't like a two inch on the side it was literally 13 by 4 throughout so here's my beautiful client um my client i'm so happy that i was able to show you guys this um my client she does have a low hairline it's not super low but it is it's got some dimension to it so what you can see here is when i plucked it out i kind of matched her arch and her forehead um, and i just left that hair i didn't bother plucking it out because it just takes time and you can just cut around it so i just made myself like a part in space So here you see me going in with my first layer of bold hold. I use bold hold active um, just because I've never had any problems with it. So yeah, I went in with bold hold active. I do three layers. Um, before I used to do two, but yeah, I do three layers and I just top them up while they're white. So I don't leave them to go dry. I wait till the end for it to dry before putting my lace down. But yeah, while I'm applying the layers, I keep them wet. Just do three wet layers. And one tip I recommend is always apply the lace further back than you think you'll need it because removing glue from your client's hairline is, it's a long process and I feel like it's such an unnecessary process too. And you're just gonna see me cut around her ear um as of recently i've been cutting around the ear after i lay my glue down i've just been finding that it, the wig sits a lot better that way and guys please <laughs> in this video please excuse my video quality because this whole time my camera setting was on some crazy setting that i didn't even know existed so it did make the video a little more grainy I am going to try and do more content like this because I'm actually loving it. So it will get better with time, I promise. So all the all the lace is not even cut and the way it's melting into her skin it's amazing i didn't tint this lace with makeup i literally just placed it down and installed it the hd lace is really hd like can you see from the side it's amazing guys
So once both sides are glued down, I just take my elastic band and I pull that as tight as I can. I still keep the lace down, so I haven't cut any of the lace yet. Um, apart from the lace you see me put on the right side. But yeah, I just leave the lace down and then we go into styling. So we were just going to do a very sleek, simple uh, middle part with this look. And remember, make sure you go for your units and hot comb the frontal light. When I say this makes such a difference to your install, people will not understand. Like, don't just hot comb the top. You need to go through and hot comb all of it. Look at the difference look how flat that is that is like is a big difference guys trust me so make sure you get your hot combs and make sure you get your wax stick and use them too as a duo because it's gonna help you in the long run i mean even when i'm installing my own wigs i feel like i can get them a little bit flatter just because I don't, i'm not really scared of no heat but when i'm doing my clients hair like i'm a bit more cautious on how hard i'm pressing or how long i'm leaving the hot comb in the same place
here you see me defining the part it does look like i'm pressing down hard and this is the reason why because i don't put too much product on my brush so i put the smallest amount of product on my brush and then i'll press that you can see that in the middle i think that helps get a natural part like i don't like putting too much product in there because when it's time for a flesh all you're gonna see is a big white line so yeah And after we press this hair out, look how it shines. Look at it shine. Look at that shine. My client looks so amazing. We added some curls to it um, just for the finished look before. Yeah, let's add some curls. And the curls was really, it was busting, busting. <laughs> I really love this install. I definitely recommend it. The hair, once again, is Asteria hair. Um, if you guys like this content, like and comment. Let me know how you guys are feeling. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.